Dear colleagues, this is FACO emulsification of an intumescent cataract. We can see fluid filled elongated radial pockets beneath the anterior capsule which indicates intumescence. Now, after making the incisions, the anterior capsule is stained with trypan blue dye, but in this case, staining was not satisfactory. However, I just washed out the dye and I thought it is enough. This much staining is enough. So now I inject viscoelastic substance and this is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. I don't use any high molecular weight viscoelastic substance in intumescent cataracts. This is the side port on the left side for introduction of chopper. Now I incise the capsule and make a C flap like this. And since the staining is not good, it is difficult to see, but I was able to see through the microscope. And here I am making a very small rexis at this stage, which I call mini rexis and now I aspirate some cortical lens matter through this small opening and squeeze out some cortical matter through this opening to reduce the intra lenticular pressure yes the intra lenticular pressure drastically reduces by this maneuvers and the cataract behaves very normally when we try to enlarge the rexis it doesn't tend to run away so you can use a bimanual irrigation aspiration if you want to do the same maneuvers. Now, since the staining was not good, I am injecting air again and I want to do some more staining. And this time, the staining is good. And we can see the small rexes very well. I remove some more cortex through this mini rexis opening and now I want to enlarge this rexis into an optimum size on viscoelastic substance is injected. Now I take Havana scissor cut the margin of this small rexis, take a uterator, hold the capsular tag and very gently I do an optimum sized rexis at this stage. That's it. The rexis is done. This has been a very nice, adequate size trexis. The size will be about 5.5 millimeter. Now this is direct job. After several sculpts, I go to a deeper level, hold the nucleus firmly and chop it. Hold it at another place and chop it. This free nuclear fragment is being emulsified and removed. Now I rotate it again and this is another fragment. And as this fragment is emulsified and removed, you can see one heminucleus is already 
removed. Now this seminucleus is also chopped. This nucleus is very brittle and it is getting chopped and emulsified very easily. The FECO power being used is 65%. This is Oatly Caterex 3 FECO machine. This is the last nuclear fragment. That's it. And now viscoelastic substance is injected and we can see a lot of cortical matter is there. It has to be removed. You can use a bimanual IA to remove this. Here I'm using a Simco cannula, 23 gauze Simco cannula. And in my hand, it works very fast. That's it. Cortical cleanup is done. Now, in this case, I have selected a multipiece intraocular lens, sensor multipiece intraocular lens. Viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber. The main wound is enlarged a bit. And this is the multipiece intraocular lens. This is how you place it in the cartridge. The optic goes under the ridges. Close the flap. And now place it on the groove of the injector. And this haptic, this haptic should project outward. Now push the plunger and the haptic should advance up to this point. Now for multipiece intraocular lens, the tip of the cartridge should go inside the anterior chamber. Now you are screwing clockwise and the leading haptic goes into the capsular bag. As the lens starts coming, the cartridge is rotated anti-clockwise. Now a Macpherson's forceps is taken. The trailing haptic is held with a Macpherson's forceps and it is placed in the bag. Now a lot of viscoelastic substance is there has to be removed. Some white flecky material is sticking to the optic of the intraocular lens that has to be removed. Here this is Simco cannula. I am irrigating fluid at this moment. Going behind the eye well. And now this is irrigating probe of bimanual IA. The idea is you have to thoroughly remove the viscoelastic substance. This, since this is SPMC, it takes very long time to come out. Sodium hyaluronate probably comes out more easily. Now air is injected because the antechamber is getting very shallow. Now this is a bit of moxifloxacin. Now the side ports are hydrated so that these wounds become autotight. So the stab incisions are closed by hydration of stroma. Now 
Now this is the final lavage of anterior chamber. And after lavage for some time with BSS with balanced salt solution, this is how I form the anterior chamber. Be in the wound for some time and come out suddenly. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills.